there marshmallow lovers on today's tutorial i will show you how to make these cute marshmallow rose pops let's get started in every bag of marshmallows, you will find that not all marshmallows are perfectly round. But that's okay, those are the perfect marshmallows to make these roses. Before you make your first cut, you'd want to make sure that your scissors are wet. Now, start cutting straight across the marshmallow. This should create your first rose petal. You should be able to cut out six rose petals from one marshmallow. Once you're done cutting your six petals, look for the two end pieces. They should be sticky on one side and smooth on the other side and set them aside. Now here's where the magic happens. Take your pop stick, a petal, and add it to the end of the stick. Keep wrapping it around, pulling just slightly, not too hard because it will start to rip. But if it does, that's okay, just keep wrapping it around. Because the petal is sticky on both sides, it will immediately stick to the stick. And there you go, there's a first step. We made a rosebud. Now taking your second petal, kind of slightly overlap where you left off, and twist it a little bit around that rosebud and voila it's stuck together continue doing this with the next three pieces this is very sticky you can see my gloves keep sticking to it i tried pulling a little petal off and it won't come off so that's good now taking your petal that has the smooth side we're going to try to cover up all that stickiness take your last petal and cover the other side then just give it a little squish put it all together and we made a rose. Here's a tip, if you're going to continue to make more roses, use some powdered sugar to rub off the excess stickiness. If you see that your rose petals start to raise up a little, just pull them tightly and stick them back in place. Now the next step is optional. I wanted to add a little sparkle to mine, so I added disco dust in the color rainbow. Now don't forget a plate before you start, this will make a mess. I buy my disco dust at my local cake supply store. It is edible, but not FDA approved. So use or eat at your own risk. Now take your rose pop and put it inside a silo bag. Take your pipe cleaner and tie it tightly to keep it fresh. Now taking the two ends of the pipe cleaner, you'll want to create some leaves. And this is what it should look like. Once your roses are done, find a vase and stick them in. If you have extra pipe cleaners, you want to take a pencil and wrap it around to create decorative foliage for your vase. This is just what I had on hand, but remember, use your imagination and create big bouquets with bigger straws, bigger vases, many more flowers, different sizes. And till next time, thank you so much for watching, and I plan to make many more marshmallow pops, so stay tuned.